What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So we're back motivated and we're back getting a good night's sleep and we're back on the ball doing as much as we can over here at work. So you know that's how I do it. And I try to make that same way for you guys to keep the motivation up. And that's why I went hard on that cutlass because whenever you slow down, you'll start to slack. You'll wait a couple days to do something and then you know that job ends up taking a couple of months to get done. Instead of just keep on going, keep on pushing, keep on getting it done. And you see we got it done quite uh, quick for a one man show. So we're back painting again. We shot this one yesterday, uh, three stage, 300M. And uh, we're gonna get it unloaded and start moving. So let's keep this channel producing no matter what job you do, if you don't even paint, do your job to the best. That way you uh, always get better and better and you keep on moving and getting more and more done. So let's do it today. is a panel truck that I'm doing. And I was telling you, we don't discriminate. When you're the only painter, you gotta do everything. So we don't, you know, just do cars. We do whatever it takes. And we're doing a panel van right now. And I got the doors off of this thing. And I'm getting ready to clear them now. I was doing a little bit of nibbing this morning. So I based this out and now we're gonna clear it. And then I'm gonna take you guys over to the other side. I got three bumpers that we did repairs on that we're gonna be shooting. So. I'm just gonna shoot these jobs here today with you guys and show you what I'm doing over here in my world and uh, leave some comments and what you guys have been doing lately too in uh, any career that you're in, not just painting. So if you do this as a hobby, let me know what you do for your daily job and also what you're doing you know, in your hobby if it's painting also. So let's go ahead and get into clearing this one and then we're gonna get over to basing the bumpers over in the other booth and I'll show you that. So we put two coats of clear on and I went up with one and I came right back with another one and that's plenty of coverage and plenty of mills for this uh, work truck we're doing here. So like, like I was telling you guys before, when you're the only painter, you got to do it all. So some of the stuff we do isn't fun, it isn't a beautiful color, it's just part of the business. So just showing you what goes on in the life of a painter and I'm sure you guys also paint some different stuff sometimes. So leave that also in the comments. So let's head on over to the other side and start shooting those bumpers. All right, we got 218. We have a repair on this bumper. And uh, we're staying off the sides, so we're good on this one. We got EB, another Kia Sorento. And the same thing, we're not on the side. So I like it when I don't have to get my color on the sides of these bumpers. Because then I don't have to worry about the color too much. So this is another one. We're getting a little tight, but I should be able to stay off of that too. And this is ADR with a uh, red metallic. So let's shoot these three bumpers and uh, get through them. So you see I put a coat of the same gun on both of these bumpers because they're black. This is 218 and this is EB. EB is not a metallic. But I had black from last night in the gun. So I went ahead and put one coat on both of these bumpers. That way I have paint drying that's in the vicinity of the color. And now I can go mix up my color and save time as this is drying. I already have the red mixed up and I would have done this first because I always spray these colors first. Then I do my metallics and then I do my solids last so there's no metallic in the air. And you can uh, make sure you don't get any overspray on your black part. So we're going to spray this first. While we're spraying this, we're going to mix up the right color for these two. We're going to spray our 218 next after the red one. And then we're going to go into our EB, which is our solid, so we don't miss it with any overspray. So let's go ahead and shoot the red part. It is a three stage.
out, all the bumpers are painted. We're gonna let them flash and we'll be clearing them. And we got away with one coat on these dark ones because we already had a dark color down because you guys knew I used the other color first. And that saved materials plus time because they were drying as I was mixing the right color. So we're gonna go ahead and clear them. And then we're gonna go over to the other side and show you the next one. So this is the next one we got loaded. You see me uh, bag it up and it's a uh, rear body, a new rear body panel we put in. All nice, resistance welded and seam sealed up. And we're doing the tailgate with it. And you guys see how I have it propped up. That way I can do it all at one time and do it right. And we got the bumper too to shoot with it. So I'm gonna shoot this one here and I got one more for the day over in the other booth, a big job. We put a quarter on it and we're doing the unicide, but I won't be able to show you these two because the GoPro battery is dying out, but I wanted to show you a little bit of my day today and uh, you guys hang out with me for the day just to see what I do, but the battery is dying out, so we won't be able to film it. So I hope you like this little video here of uh, just what I do day to day. Some are nice, some aren't so pleasant, but it is all together a good job to be into the auto painting business. So. Anybody out there that's young that wants to get into a good trade and make unlimited amount of money, this is the one for you if you're into cars. So hope you like this video and uh, we'll see you on the next one.